Hey everybody, it's Soaping Sunday, and today I want to show you a penguin soap that I made. Here it is! <laughs> They're little penguins on top of little circle soaps. <laughs> I can't wait to unmold them and see how cute they are. But first, let me show you how I made them. To get started making cold process goat milk soap, I start by measuring out my ingredients. My first ingredient is coconut oil. I melt that down, and while that's melting, I measure out my castor oil, as well as my olive oil in a separate bowl. I'm measuring in grams and using a kitchen scale to make sure that it's accurate in accordance with the recipe that I came up with. Once the coconut oil is melted down, I add shea butter to the coconut oil and I melt that down. While it's melting, I measure out my frozen goat milk as well as my sodium hydroxide, which is also known as lye. It's really important to make sure these calculations are correct. So I use soapcalc.net. I add the lye to my goat milk and I stir it in. I don't add all of it at once. I want to slowly add it because it does heat up fairly quickly and I don't want it to scorch the milk. And so I make sure that it is dissolving into the goat milk. And it's important just to keep on stirring and slowly adding it in. This process can take about 15 minutes but I do make sure that I use up all of the lye in order to make soap, you need to have the right lye to oil ratio. So it's really important to get this step right. Here are my four oils. I'm going to mix them up with an immersion blender. And once they are thoroughly mixed, I will mix the four oils together. That's the coconut oil, the shea butter into the olive oil and castor oil. I make sure to get all of the oil out of the bowl to the best of my ability, just to keep that recipe correct. I'm using the immersion blender to blend them well. I am going to set aside a small amount of soap batter so that I can dye it with activated charcoal to make a nice rich black color. I use my immersion blender to mix the activated charcoal in well. Once I'm happy with those results, I pour it into the base of my round circle molds. I use a spatula to try to get all of the soap batter. It's important to me to use as much of the soap batter as possible so that way I get as much soap as possible. Now I'm going to measure out the fragrances. For this soap I decided to go with a pine essential oil along with bergamot and cedarwood atlas essential oil. I make sure that I am measuring out my essential oil blend that I created on eocalc.com so that I know that I'm using safe usage rates of the essential oils. Because even though they're all natural, you can still overdo it. I'm using my immersion blender to blend up my essential oils into my soap batter. So that way the smell is throughout the soap. I am pouring it into the circle mold on top of the black soap batter. The black soap batter has set, so my hope is that it's not going to break through so that there'll be two separate colored layers. Give the mold a little shake and a jiggle, trying to flatten out the top and release any air bubbles or pockets. The spatula patting down on top can also help release some air bubbles and pockets in the soap batter. I had extra soap batter, so I pulled out another circle mold and I'm just putting the extra in there and scraping every last bit. Looks like I'll get 10 soaps plus a little extra give that a little shake and after letting it sit for a few minutes it thickened up to like a pudding like consistency and i was able to use a spoon to texture the top just wanted to give the top just a little bit more definition before i add in my little penguins so i made these little penguins out of soap batter colored with activated charcoal and they came out so cute I just wanted to be able to add those in and 
have a cute little penguin soap and since the batter is thickened up it's able to hang on to those penguins and keep them from sinking down into the soap batter if they sank down i would have waited longer but looks like i waited just long enough so their little feet are secured into the soap batter now that those penguins are all in and looking good i set the soap molds aside for 24 hours to allow them to harden into soap Okay, let's pop them out and see what they look like. Oh my goodness, they came out so pretty. Look how cute. They actually remind me almost of like little like cupcakes. <laughs> they have the little black line on the bottom, the penguin on the top, and the textured top. Wow, I gotta say the pine with the bergamot and the cedarwood atlas smells really nice together. I'm definitely gonna add that scent in to my scent line because I really enjoy this. And then I did have a couple extra that I had extra batter, so I have just the natural soap with the penguin on top, which is cute also. And I always love having just extra soap to try out from the batch. And I keep all the extras for my personal use. <laughs> now I'm not sure how I am going to package this shape with a little penguin on top. I'm not really sure how you would go about washing your body with this. Not sure if this is gonna be like a handle for washing. <laughs> but it's really cute and I just wanted to make something cute. <laughs> Maybe not the most practical, but cute. I feel like, I mean, it's pretty secure in there, but I feel like once you get it wet, you could probably pop the penguin out and use the penguin separately as a small soap. And then I do actually really like these little circle soaps. I feel like they're a nice size for lathering up as a hand wash, or I like them in the shower as well as a small shower bar. And they really do last a really long time. I love goat milk soap because of how moisturizing it is and how long it lasts. And I have more than enough soap to last me a long time. <laughs> so thank you for hanging out with me today. And if you haven't started soaping yet, what are you waiting for? Get your soap on. And if you liked this video, please give us a like down below. And if you wanna see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel out. Thanks. One, two, one, two, three, four. Do you want to farm? A wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm and we'll show you.